When people get married and their intention is not sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, their priorities are mixed up. And I was having a chat before with one of my brothers. And in Australia, I do marriages. I solemnize marriages a lot. And this is what we see all the time. When a boy and a girl get married, a young man and woman, you find that they love each other a lot. Well, at least in the beginning. But as time goes on, six months later, they get used to their marriage and all the faults and the uh, habits, they start to come out and it becomes ordinary. You find that a girl, for example, a wife becomes religious because she loves her husband. Or a man who wants to marry this religious girl, you find that he starts going to the masjid because her father likes a religious man for his daughter. So suddenly you find him in the masjid a lot, appearing as if he's religious. They become married. And if something goes wrong in their marriage, they rebel. So for example, if the wife loved her husband and he was religious and then he disappointed her, they separate and you find her hijab starts to decrease. You find that she starts going towards things that don't remind her about her husband. And if religion reminds her about her husband, then she doesn't do religion anymore. If the man who married a woman was because of her religion, and then his love for her decreases, unfortunately you also find that his love for his religion also decreases. What am I saying? I'm saying that if the heart is not right, then it doesn't matter what you do with your actions. They will never be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is called riya. One of the worst diseases that exist among the Muslims themselves. And one of the greatest promises that the shaitan made to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that he said, لَأَقْعُدَنَّ لَهُمْ صِرَاطَكَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ I will sit awaiting for them on your straight path. Meaning I'm going to look for their salat, I'm going to look for their fasting, their charity, and I'm going to be waiting, whispering in their ear, telling them, do that action just to please people. Or oh, look at that person, he looked at you giving charity. Look at that person, he, he or she looked at you making your salat in the masjid. Look at that person, he looked at you wearing a hijab. Increase it, make it better to impress them. You will not receive the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if it's done for other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And truly, you find that if your intention wasn't right from the beginning, as time goes on, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings a hardship upon you, you find yourself actually reversing very easily. And this is the meaning of the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Hajj, and among people are those who worship Allah on the edge, like the edge of a cliff. When good happens to them, they stay put, they're content. But when they are afflicted with some kind of trial or a hardship, they fall down, forward, flat on their face. They have lost this world and their hereafter. Time and time again, we see people who look religious on the outside, but unfortunately their goal is materialism. Wealth, their car, their homes, their houses, their dwellings, their work to be promoted in their career, a wife or a husband, maybe. Their goal is popularity, for example. Their goal is fame. Their goal is to have a good time in life, having a good time materialism, after materialism. And when we watch the celebrities in the world who look happy on the outside, but miserable on the inside, we find that suicidal rates are so high with them. Drug addictions are so high with them. We all know this. Why? Because when you are after something that is temporary, then your happiness is also temporary. So why do they go on drugs and alcohol? In order to forget. To forget the misery and unhappiness that exists in the world. Divorce rates are so high among the celebrities. Why? Because they're after just their desires and enjoyment. When you get used to something after it was new and it becomes old and yellow, right? You want something new again. And when you keep getting something new and you get bored of it, and you keep getting something new and you get bored of it, you run out of new things. So then you resort to intoxications.
only to forget that you live in this world. But when your goal is something which is eternal, and Jannah is eternal, then the goal never runs out. Why do you think people become unhappy? Why do you think people commit suicide, as we said? Because whatever they are after has run out. <laughs> Of the